there is a prominent voice in this movement right now. He's an organizer with the WGA, and I had a chance to be introduced uh, to him a few weeks back. It was actually right before SAG got involved with the WGA, which was already out there a month previously. And so we were all at this bar together. It was um, called Residuals Tavern. I don't know if you guys uh, heard of this place, but we all have heard of it because it's the place where we go when we have less than a dollar checks in residuals. And that's why they call it Residual Tavern. So it's, it's, it's a staple in LA. It's actually in Studio City. In fact, I'm going to show you what happened when we were there last time. And this is right before SAG got in the streets. So we all made up with our little $1 checks. We all had them. I actually had a, a penny check. I know you guys saw the, the video earlier. Uh, one of the girls, uh, Casey, she had she had also talked about having a one penny check. That's a thing. It actually happens. Um, but here we are over at Residuals Tavern. Uh, we met up with some old friends. Uh, this is on my right. This is Pepe. Uh, she's actually an original Sherwood player from Santa Barbara days when we were in Santa Barbara. And it turns out she's a big organizer um, in the in the WGA right now. And we were talking. She she actually brought a friend of hers with her uh, to the bar. And I was able to meet him. And uh, he's a writer of the hit show on FX, uh, The Bear, if you guys know The Bear. Uh, his name's Alex O'Keefe. And this guy is an incredible. I was we were trying to arrange an interview for today. It didn't uh, Our schedules didn't quite work out. But this is Alex O'Keefe. He's been in the streets from day one before day one. And he has an incredible story. And the reason why I'm bringing him up is I want you guys to know what the power of your voice is. There's a lot of ways we can demonstrate our power. One is by doing what we're already doing. We're going in the streets. We're, we're, we're wearing the t-shirts. I actually have my t-shirt on right here. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I, I do have the, the SAG after a strong t-shirt. It didn't really make it into the camera, but it's there. So there's a lot of things we can do. We can get out there. We can pick it. Uh, we can make phone calls. We can we can we can send emails. We can do things like this. We can do podcasts. We can interview people, talk to people. Um, there's a, so much we can do. Um, what what Alex was able to do um, was he's able to be one of the louder voices because he was able to go on uh, on CNN and there was a lot. He got a lot of coverage early because he had won this um, this best uh, writing award, I guess. So for the show, but he was being paid like crap. So this actually came out in the Business Insider a few months back, which was um, kind of a, a expo expose on Alex, who literally won Best Comedy Series at the Writers Guild of America Awards. And it says, uh, according to the report here, it says a writer for FX's The Bear went to the Writers Guild of America Awards with a negative bank account balance and won for Best Comedy Series. He's now applying for jobs at movie theaters as writers go on strike. So this was right at the beginning of the strike. So Alex O'Keefe, he's one of seven writers for the comedy, The Bear, which is starring Jeremy Allen White. Uh, he told The New Yorker that writing for an acclaimed show has not translated into a glitzy Hollywood lifestyle. And he said, and he posted this on Twitter himself, working as a staff writer, I was still broke still on Medicaid. The studio wouldn't fly me out to the writer's room in LA. So I worked from my Brooklyn apartment. My heat was out that pandemic winter. So this was, you know, the, the year of the pandemic. My space heater blew out the lights. I worked on episode eight from a library. It's, it's, it's an incredible story. And these are, the, these are the stories that led to where we are now, because this is, and we need more people speaking out like Alex. And so since the WGA went on strike and now SAG has joined in, um, this thing's getting bigger and bigger. So these voices like Alex are getting louder and louder. And I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play you some coverage on CNN. Alex had a chance to go on CNN. And you know, as you know, if you even get a chance to go on one of these mainstream media news shows, you're only going to get a very brief moment to speak. And what the reason I'm going to play this for you guys is because the usage of time and we as artists we we should know this because we audition and we you know we have these little moments where we have to nail something so this is something you would prepare for as alex clearly did well i'm going to show you his interview on cnn not because oh wow he got on cnn that's not the that's not the story the story is he got on cnn 
And look what he does with his time on CNN. He takes this issue and he makes it a larger issue for everyone, not just the writers, not just the actors, not just the entertainment folks. He's saying there's something actually wrong with the system itself. It's a broken system, the whole system, which affects everybody. Check this out. Bob Iger says the expectations of writers and actors are, quote, just not realistic, while those on strike say they're just asking for their fair share. Here now to discuss is a writer for the acclaimed show The Bear, Alex O'Keefe, and Sean Sharma, an actor on The Chosen. Welcome, both of you. So, Alex, let's start right there. Let's get you to respond to what Disney CEO Bob Iger said at a conference uh, just a few days ago. Let's play it for our viewers, and then we'll get you to respond after. There's a level of expectation that they have that is just not realistic, and they are adding to a set of challenges that this business is already facing that is, quite frankly, very disruptive. So they're not being realistic? Dangerous. Uh, no, they're not. Okay, so Alex, there's no denying that there are challenges that the industry is facing right now. We're coming out of COVID. We're switching. Uh, a lot of companies are dealing with um, declining linear and focus on streaming. That having been said, how do you respond to what he just said and what exactly are you demanding? <laughs> Yeah, it's very funny that this this multimillionaire CEO says that we're not being realistic. You pan out, there's a beautiful Sun Valley background there. And if you pan out even more, you'd see a fleet of private jets. It's funny who gets to imagine in this world, who gets to be unrealistic, because we're living in the wildest imaginations of a few billionaires who have designed our economy exclusively for themselves. And increasingly, there is a 1%, and the rest of us are the 99%. And that is why you're seeing not just the writers go on strike, not just the actors go on strike, UPS is gearing to go on strike, workers across Los Angeles are going on strike, because the same thing is happening across every part of their machine. And these media companies, you know, about six corporations control 90% of the media, I believe, they control so much of the economy and they have rigged it for their profit exclusively. And their next step is to replace human beings with machines. Replace drivers with machines, replace actors with machines, replace us all with artificial intelligence. So this strike is at the forefront of the fight against AI to actually regulate AI, which many scientists and leading AI experts have said has an existential threat to humanity. We don't need more existential threats. We have enough, all right? So let's just focus on actually paying workers what they deserve. The workers who kept us alive through the pandemic, the writers and the actors who kept us entertained in our darkest moments, let's pay them what they deserve. I wrote for a very big show called The Bear. I made very little money. I saw no profits in it. I lived below the poverty line working on this show that has made millions of dollars for FX and Disney at large. This is not how the world has to be. There is enough wealth in this industry alone for us all to, to, to have success. And for a hundred years in this, uh, this economy, in this industry, that's how it worked. It was a common expectation. This would be a good union middle class career, not for the big actors, but for everyone who makes the machine run. And now we are not even allowed to be in the middle class. We are told just to be grateful to be there. No, we're mad as hell. We're not going to take it anymore. We are going to stand up for ourselves. And these billionaires, they're about to get a reality check because workers have all the power. We make this economy run and we will shut it down until we get our fair share. That was Alex O'Keefe on CNN. Great use of time, Alex. This is, this is exactly the problem, is that we only seem to respond to a, a bad, unstable economic system when it affects us. We don't see the larger picture. And I think people like Alex and people like if, if you're out there too and you think the same way, this we have to be louder than everyone else because this isn't just about taking those bad apples at Disney and Netflix and 
Sony. This isn't about just the greedy shareholders. Let's get rid of them or let's teach them a lesson or let's, you know, let's punish them if they did anything illegal. Um, the system itself is broken. And we have to call that out before it's too late, before it's too late for our industry or your industry, whatever industry you're in. You might be doing OK. You might not think it concerns you, but they're coming for you next. The, this is this is a system that's not sustainable in any industry. So here we are, artists here in Hollywood, all over the country and all over the world, really. We're all affected now. And so we have to have the loudest voices. So I, I appreciate Alex. And um, it was great um, meeting you. And then we the conversation we had, I believe at the next, uh, we went to a, a union uh, rally uh, the following week. And we had a great conversation. I, I, I hope, Alex, we're able to talk to you one-on-one -on -one, uh, one day soon on the show. So um, we'll look forward to, to scheduling that soon. Um, but yeah, guys, check out The Bear if you get a chance. If you're sitting at home and want to uh, watch some um, some great content from some incredible, talented writer, Alice O'Keefe.